So guys, in today's video, I am off to Hamburg. Okay, just thought I would turn you guys around. Uh, guys, today I'm off to Hamburg and uh, I'm there to see a client, so I'm training their team for two days. They have two companies actually. One which is an agency, got a squat down. Second, which is a financial services like software, which is pretty cool. Uh, they're a client of mine, so flying out there to train their team and work on this new funnel. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Guys, I am currently late, but really need to record this. So uh, never miss a flight before. And uh, let's hope that my streak continues. And um, yeah, guys, let's jump into it. Move as fast as I'm moving. All the toxic things that I'm using. All the so guys, I am in the airport ship, and uh, I am the furthest thing from late. Uh, I have like an hour to the flight. Basically, um, the or my thing showed me, uh, you, know, you know, like the notification showed me the time for boarding, not the time for boarding time. It was a flight time, so I thought I was screwed. But I'm not, so we're all good. So I even have some time to like get a cappuccino or something like that. Uh, we're here at Heathrow Terminal 2 in London. I haven't flown out this one in uh, maybe like 10 years, probably since like, I went like a solid like seven, eight years without traveling pretty much at all when a uh, family was uh, going through some issues. But uh, yeah, here back now, airport's not that bad. Or this terminal's not that bad. Um, I always love London because I think it has like the best airports. Just got to the hotel room. Let me give you guys a little, little bit of a tour. Don't know why I stuttered there. That's me. Uh, here's the bathroom, guys. Interesting painting. Um, that is an interesting tub. I've never. It's kind of got like a retro vibe to it. Uh, rainforest shower. Whatever the hell this is. And once again, that is me. It's coming through here. Got a TV speaker. I thought this was pretty cool. It's pretty sneaky. Um, once again, they have an espresso machine, so I am like so, so happy with that. Nice desk to work on, which I always really, really appreciate. So nice working space. Um, this couch here for chilling, I guess, when watching TV, but I don't watch any TV. They got some funky ass lights up here. So maybe that's a German thing. You know, that's even more accentuated by the fact that some blindfolded people dancing. And uh, something about this bed, uh, makes me just like not trustworthy. I don't know, it just feels like something's hiding under there. So yeah, guys, that is uh, that is the hotel room. At this point, honestly, I'm in a new hotel room or Airbnb probably twice or three times a month. Yeah, I've come to have certain preferences and um, I don't know, I guess this one's okay. But uh, guys, just gonna rest up, uh, gonna eat. They have a restaurant here, which is good. So I can just eat here because I'm gonna be eating alone, so. At least I might as well be a loner in the hotel uh, rather than out in public. And uh, after that, I'm gonna work on uh, my affiliate website. I'm gonna like literally just add some uh, finishing touches and then send that over to my chatbot uh, guy so that we can like start to integrate it. And then off to bed. And then tomorrow is off to the client's headquarters. So I'll take you guys in there. So guys, first day here in Hamburg, or second day, but first day of the consulting, so uh, just grabbing up all my crap. I'm actually taking a bunch of equipment with me. Uh, that is for, okay, the socks I should probably not take to their office. Sorry, we're gonna throw that in there. A um, bunch of stuff just in case, uh, in terms of camera equipment, uh, obviously this camera itself. Uh, that is just for the landing pages, um, some of the sales materials, some of the ads, and other stuff like that. So we got wireless receiver, uh, uh, this thing, which is like my monitor, uh, four terabyte uh, Lacey. Guys, if you travel, this thing is a godsend because honestly, my last like two hard drives failed on me. So I use the Lacey, uh, this, I think this is four terabyte 
it's got the USB-C uh, where uh, you are I'm, I'm gonna just run through my equipment I got the Sony f2 I love 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 this lens and it's only around like 250 pounds something like that so not even that expensive the one I've got on right now is the f4 Might as well show you guys uh, it is the f4 don't know how well you can see that f4 it is f um, uh, 24 to 70 millimeter uh, this was around like 750 pounds and then obviously just uh, bringing my handy Sony um, uh, this is the Sony RX100 Mark IV. So now you guys got a little idea as to how I actually go ahead and shoot my video. So guys, gonna head off and uh, catch up with you guys at the uh, at the headquarters. So the thing is, you have no idea what the market is gonna respond to, so that's why you gotta try a lot of things really, really quickly, mm -hmm. and then you're fine. I mean, that's actually we should just keep with what we're trying to sell, actually, right? So the design sprint is nothing else. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have no time because you only have one day to produce. Mm -hmm. Uh, a prototype mm -hmm. so you have to like deal it so guys we are on halfway through here with the rest of the team say hi guys hi guys <laughs> hey. and um torsten's in another room just uh creating a couple slides for a video without revealing too much what we've been working all right so here is my terrible writing um we are talking about software digital products how to offset the cost of getting a new customer using digital products and how to get more B2B clients um, by pretty much just dominating the B2C space within their design agency. Uh, they also have like a little side business, which is uh, called FinGym, um, financial training, stuff like that. Anyways, basically we've established that if they get the B2C space, uh, then they pretty much own the B2B space. So right now we are also working on um, getting their like YouTube, Facebook, all that stuff sorted because um, you know, it's been proven time and time again, as I said, once they build up their social media, once they drive a shit ton of traffic there, um, then they'll inevitably end up getting uh, all of the business business agency clients. So yeah, that's what we're working on right now. No, you're not, this, this paid advertising is not running to your product. This paid ad, and that's also the reason the paid advertising is gonna convert so well. The paid advertising is literally just to give them free shit. Yeah. With so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the two day training was an absolute success. Uh, a couple things we went over. First of all, I completely flipped the script. I told him, look, control the B2C market. And once you control the B2C market, the B2B market will basically be your own. So they have two companies, one which is a design agency called Neon, the other one which is called FinGym. It's like this financial services company, online training company, uh, but then they also have some software associated with that. So. You know, with Neon, we just completely like, everything got like turned over on its head. They have a 60 day roadmap that they're gonna go ahead and follow and that is, everything has just changed for them, right? And then if we look at their software company, I showed them pretty much how to get paid to get a customer. Now, in the reason that most of these companies, they need Series A, they need their seed capital, then they need Series A, Series B, all this like funding and shit like that is because, you know, their cost per acquisition of customer, it, you know, is maybe $15 or $50, right? Whatever it may be. But the point is they are at such a deficit for so long uh, to get a customer through the door. I basically showed them, look, this is how you can get a customer in and you're gonna get paid to do it. So you're gonna get a customer in on your software service and you're gonna get paid in order to do that. It's, that is, that's life changing. That, that is literally goes against every single business model out there. It's what companies like ClickFunnels do, uh, does. It's if you guys know, Alex, I'm sure you guys know Alex Becker, Alex Becker, that's what he does with Market Hero. Any of the good softwares, that's what they'll do. So I show them how to do that for their software company and then the main focus was on Neon. But guys, it's so, so cool. I like, I've said it so many times and I'll continue to stand by it. Social media marketing, it brings so many opportunities. When I make 20, 25,000 a month from social media marketing, that's mine, that's profit. You know, that isn't my, me fucking around with you guys with my revenue, which I only actually make 25% or 20% profit margin on. That is my money to keep, right? That's my money to keep. Yes, I have certain things that I outsource for, but once again, that's just because I don't want to do it myself. If I wanted to, I could do it myself. Work a little bit extra time, but keep 100% profit margin basically, right? You know, flew me out to Germany. You know, I got to train their team for two days. There are millionaires in this team and there are people who have owned multi-million pound companies in this team. And here I am, 
teaching them. And guys, that's the cool thing about social media marketing is no one understands it. A very, very few select amount of people understand it. So there are big companies like this begging to just throw cash away. Like I'm, I'm just name a number, 10,000, 50,000, hundred thousand, name the number. They'll give it to you because they don't understand how to do this shit themselves guys. And it's not that hard to learn. It's so damn easy to learn. Okay. So guys, first of all, there's the fact that like social media marketing, you, what you make is actually what you make. It's not some bullshit number you put out there to, you know, inflate your ego telling people, yeah, my, my e-commerce st store did this amount. My affiliate website did this amount, my whatever it is, right? When you make that money, you actually make that money. Okay. So first of all, it's that. And second, and by the way, guys, I'm, I'm not trying to shit on other financial vehicles here because there are so many cool financial vehicles and there are so many cool ways you can make money. And I have friends who are doing every single thing out there, right? I'm just saying that's one of the reasons I love social media marketing, right? Plus, apart from that, it's the fact that like you're respected in the business world and there's no better feeling than being respected in the business, business world because sure, you might be able to sell a few like online products, digital products, you might be able to, and by the way, guys, this is, I, I sell digital products and I have an affiliate marketing, like affiliate marketing is my third business, my third six figure business, like I do this, you know, so. I, I, you know, I, I'm allowed to say this, right? Sure. You were able to sell, you know, some wolf mugs. Sure. You were able to sell some, uh, you know, the fidget spinners. But the cool thing is when you go in the business world and it's really not that hard because most of these people don't even know what they're talking about, but you go in the business world and you're respected as a business person. That is the coolest feeling in the world when there are companies trying to fly you out. And by the way, guys, it doesn't start like this. It starts with done for you, right? A year ago I was doing, just social media distribution and growth, right? And I was making five, 6,000 a month just by doing social media distribution and growth and a bit of content, right? And then you move into higher levels, more things that people will pay more for, like advertising and like paid ads and funnel creation and email marketing, you know, helping people run their retargeting ads, you know, cause most people are just sloppy with that. So like, these are all things that you can help with. And then you can move into stuff that I'm moving into now, uh, which is more a consultant role where you just come in get paid a big fee and then get the fuck out because you don't want to deal with that shit, right? There's so many different ways to go about it, right? So my point is that's kind of what I love about social media marketing is that you're also just respected and being respected is a great feeling. I'm not going to lie, right? You're just respected and seeing, for example, yesterday, like I was talking to the owners after, um, you know, after the workshop ended, he's just like, literally this changes everything for me. This literally changes everything for me. And you know, that's an amazing feel when you, when you can literally see in someone's eyes, how their business has just been completely reformed and changed. And you know, another cool thing is when you, you know, I, I say, I say most of these people are idiots. They're idiots in the sense that they don't know anything about digital marketing or social media marketing or anything like that. But these are smart people, you know, in the business to business world, there's none of this fake it till you make it shit. If you're not who you are, you'll get eaten the fuck alive. Right? So it's also a good test of what you're able to do. Cause even the owner, um, he asked me yesterday, he's like, Iman, look, I'm not going to lie. Like I know how much you make with your affiliate marketing, with your digital products, with your, uh, mastermind events and through your, uh, digital marketing agency. I know, f I know you don't really need to fly out here and do this. So, you know, I know it's not about the money because you have more than enough money. That's quite, that's quite clear. Why do you do this? And I told him it's to prove it to myself, you know, because when you do this in the business world, and you know, you've got multimillionaires listening to you and going, holy shit, how did I not realize this? It's, it's a great feeling and it definitely, it, you know, it, it definitely does something for what you think you're worth. Okay. So plus lastly, when you're in the business to business world and you do someone a favor, like I did here, which was completely change their business, the landscape of their business, go from, you know, having a six figure, uh, six figure profit goal for this year to seven figure profit goal for, the, uh, for this year. When you do something like that, or for example, literally, um, uh, what's called like uh, two weeks ago, one of my clients, I would, I wasn't able to make it to their office. So I just had to do a Skype call with their team. So we spent two hours and that two hours resulted in $37,000 of profit. You know how many favors that guy owes me now? And he's, he's following through with it, right? The amount of people he's introducing uh, me to, whether that be people who could actually come on and be clients uh, for me as a marketing agency, or just people who are useful to me, people who can help me get rent in LA at a, a cheaper price or rent in Paris at a cheaper price. Like 
you know, seriously, I, <laughs> I, I, sorry if I'm ranting now, guys, but you know, I, I just love marketing agency, social media marketing. I love this business world, right? It's just, there's something about it, right? So uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and watch my web class. It's down in the description. It literally shows you how I went from a broke nobody to what, like 16 months later here being flown out to all these companies, having my own clients in London, some in Amsterdam uh, and some in Germany and, you know, having all my clients and, you know, just doing everything that I told you about here. So uh, guys, go ahead, sign up to that web class. It's entirely free. Um, and I hope you enjoy that. And I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, guys, I will see you in the next one.